Elon Musk is the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX and the world's richest person. He also has a keen interest in Mars colonization. Elon Musk has long talked about sending humans to Mars and it appears that his plans aren't going away anytime soon. Musk has always been very vocal about his Martian ambitions. For a long time, Elon Musk has mentioned his plans to take humans to Mars and he has even set a timeline for it. Welcome to Tech Heaven and in this video we'll take a look at how Elon Musk is thinking about colonizing Mars. Curious to know? Let's find out! Elon Musk won't stop tweeting about Mars and how humanity should relocate to the Red Planet. Musk, who has previously mentioned colonizing Mars, has also stated that he wishes to establish his own laws on the Red Planet. But what exactly do we know about Musk's plans for a self-sustaining civilization on Mars? For the first time, Musk mentioned a timetable for landing humans on Mars in February of this year. It's been five and a half years, Musk stated. While that is not a hard deadline, Musk did list a number of caveats, including the need for a slew of technological advances in their intervening years. What matters most is that we establish Mars as a self-sustaining civilization, he had stated. The strange thing is that the deadline may be a little ambitious, as NASA, the United States' leading space agency, had a much different date, one that is seven years after Musk's date. The first humans are not expected to arrive until at least 2033 on a NASA-funded rocket. Is Musk's goal of sending humans to Mars by 2026 too lofty? Humans could make the journey if technology allows it and if they survive physically. Some of the known risks of space travel are not trivial or insignificant. Along with space sickness, there is radiation, which consists of high-energy subatomic particles that pass through the astronaut's skin, damaging cells both inside and outside the body. Because space travelers' bones and muscles are no longer constantly working against gravity, they can weaken. Blood and other bodily fluids from the lower body can build up in the upper body, including the brain. Another unintended consequence is that astronauts may experience hearing loss. Is Mars appropriate for human habitation? Over the years, scientists have made many compelling arguments about why Mars, rather than another planet, was chosen. According to a 2017 report on astronomy, Mars's atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide, the planet's surface is too cold to sustain human life, and the planet's gravity is only 38% that of Earth. Furthermore, the atmosphere on Mars is equivalent to about 1% of the atmosphere on Earth at sea level. That is not all. Mars's temperatures may also be unsuitable for humans. Mars's average temperatures range from 35 to minus 143 degrees Celsius. The average temperature on the planet's surface is also minus 63 degrees Celsius. How do you get the planet to warm up? Musk has proposed terraforming, or in his words, nuking Mars. The hypothetical process of deliberately modifying the atmosphere, temperature, surface topography or ecology of a planet, moon or other body to be similar to the environment of Earth in order to make it habitable by Earth-like life is known as terraforming or terraformation. But how does Musk intend to terraform it? Musk proposed nuking the poles in 2015. Elon Musk proposed terraforming Mars by dropping nuclear bombs on its polar caps. He had stated that the radiation would not be a problem because the explosion would take place in space over the poles. But the heat released would vaporize the frozen carbon dioxide, warming the planet and melting the water ice. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic? The billionaire has previously argued that we need a plan B in case the Earth is irreversibly damaged by climate change, overpopulation, a third world war or a mass extinction event. While the jury is still out on what will eventually render our planet uninhabitable, Musk raised a new concern in January. According to a 2020 study published in The Lancet by researchers from the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation, the world's population may decrease after the second half of the century, contrary to popular belief. That means Musk's Mars colonization plan may not have enough people, as the SpaceX CEO admitted in the same tweet. If there aren't enough people on Earth, there will certainly not be enough on Mars. According to the IHME, the global population will peak at 9.73 billion by 2064, then decline by nearly a billion by the end of the century. 
These findings contradict previous United Nations predictions, which predicted a steady increase to around 11 billion by 2100. Musk referred to the United Nations numbers in the same tweet post. He said, complete nonsense. Other things he had in mind were mentioned in the follow-up comments to explain his stance. Musk stated that his plan was to create two tiny pulsing suns across the regions. They are really above the planet, they are not even on it. Musk made the remarks this morning at a Solar City event in New York City's Times Square. He wants to send a large fusion bomb over the poles every few moments to create small blinking suns. Many people are unaware that our sun is a massive fusion explosion, he had stated. T-shirts were also available for Musk's nuke Mars agenda. Is Musk going to be a space pioneer? No, in a nutshell. He is going for the more complicated answer, but perhaps not first. Elon Musk described his space plans in an interview with Kara Swisher at the Code Conference 2021, which included a self-sustaining city on Mars and a base on the moon for those who want to go there. While Musk does not have immediate plans, he stated in an interview, my goal is not to send myself up. My goal is to make room for humanity. I'll go up at some point, he adds, and become a multi-planet species. He was asked if he would allow his children to go to Mars on a future rocket trip in the February interview where he mentioned a deadline. If we're talking about the third or fourth set of landings on Mars, I'd be fine with that, he said, adding that so far none of them are jumping to go to Mars. Assume humanity migrates to Mars. Are earthly laws applicable? According to a November 2020 report in The Independent, SpaceX will not recognize any international law on Mars and will instead adhere to a set of self-governing principles that will be established during the Martian settlement. Elon Musk appears to have slipped a clause into the terms of the Starlink Satellite Broadband Services Agreement that SpaceX will make its own set of rules on Mars. For services provided on Mars or in transit to Mars via Starship or other colonization spacecraft, the parties recognize Mars as a free planet and that no Earth-based government has authority or sovereignty over Martian activities, the Starlink Agreement states. As a result, at the time of Martian settlement, disputes will be settled using self-governing principles established in good faith. This future colony created by SpaceX would most likely use constellations of Starlink satellites orbiting the planet to provide internet access. Elon Musk's SpaceX has already launched over 800 satellites with the goal of providing global broadband internet. However, the Declaration of Human Rights and Responsibilities in the Universe states that space will be considered free by all, for all, and to all. What is the point of visiting Mars? Musk's quote on SpaceX's Mission to Mars website explains it. You want to wake up in the morning thinking the future is going to be great, and that's what it's like to be a spacefaring civilization. It is about having faith in the future and believing that it will be better than the past. And I can't imagine anything more thrilling than being out there among the stars. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. What are your views about the Mars colonization mission? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the next video.